Hi, my name is Oljai. I'm a data platform MVP, and in this video, we will explore everything you need to know about deploying and optimizing WordPress on Azure using MySQL. As you may already know, WordPress is an open source content management system that powers more than 40% of websites on the internet, used for websites, blogs, and various applications. So let's get started. MySQL is one of the world's most popular open source relational database management system, known for its speed, reliability, and ease of use. It's widely used among developers due to its broad community support, variety of tools, and compatibility with most programming languages. There are two main options for hosting your MySQL database on Azure. First, Azure VM, also known as Infrastructure as a Service option. Here, MySQL runs on virtual machine that you manage. Microsoft handles the hardware and virtualization, but you are responsible for managing the MySQL server, including high availability, security, data protection, and monitoring. Second option is Platform as a Service. This fully managed service allows you to focus on application development, user management, and performance, while Azure handles the infrastructure backups, high availability, and security. Azure Database for MySQL is a cost-effective, fully managed service running the open source version of MySQL. You can quickly provision or scale your server with support for high availability and up to 99.99% uptime backed by SLAs. The service integrates seamlessly with Azure tools and services, enabling faster deployments with built-in encryption and enterprise-grade security. The flexible server architecture separates the compute and storage. For enhanced availability, your MySQL server runs on a Linux VM, and it is stored on a premium file storage, replicated three times for resiliency. It supports same zone redundance and zone redundant high availability with automatic failover and zero data loss. The architecture is zone aware, minimizing latency by co-locating your application and database server on a backup automatically stored locally, with the option for geo-redundant storage for disaster recovery. Azure Database for MySQL runs on the open source community version, so new application refactoring or additional drivers are needed. It just works. Being open source and offered under the public license, MySQL allows you to develop applications without extra cost. Major cloud providers support MySQL, making it ideal for portable, scalable web and mobile applications. Its reliability, horizontal scalability, VR application and integration in the LAMP stack further solidify its place as a top choice for developers. So, if you are building a portable, performant, and scalable application, MySQL is worth considering. Now, let's explore how we can run MySQL on Azure. Go to the Azure portal at portal.azure.com and sign in. If you don't have an Azure subscription, the best way to get started is by creating a free Azure account. Head over to azuremicrosoft.com. And with the free account, you can use MySQL for up to 12 months and access many other features. To see which services are free, type free services in the Azure search bar within the Azure portal and check out the full list. If you choose Azure Database for MySQL from the free services, you will get up to 750 hours of usage per month and about 32 gigabytes of storage. In the Azure portal, search for and then select Azure Database for MySQL Flexible Service. Select Print. On the Select Azure Database for MySQL Deployment Option pane, the first option is Flexible Server. There is also an option to deploy WordPress, which I will cover in this video. For now, let's create a WordPress application and Flex Server. Before getting started, select your Azure subscription from the drop down menu. Then you will need a resource group. If you don't have any, click the new button and give your resource group a name. Under hosting details, select the region you want to serve your app from and then type a globally unique name for your web app. Under hosting plans, select standard, but you can select change plan to view features and price comparisons. Under WordPress setup, choose your preferred site language, then type an email and then admin username and also type your admin password. The email that you used for WordPress administrative sign-in only. Click next for add-ins and recommended add-ins are selected by default. These are some of the things Microsoft recommends by default, so you don't have to worry about them. Microsoft automatically configures Azure CDN for you. 
This creates a profile and endpoint, so all static content is cached on Microsoft CDN servers. If you prefer Azure Front Door, you can uncheck the Azure CDN box and then enable Front Door, which acts as a reverse proxy with 118 locations to serve your content. There is an also blob storage integration. By default, App Service provides storage, but if you want faster storage, you can enable blob storage as well, especially if your website has a lot of media content. Microsoft automatically creates one virtual network to host your site, database, and other resources on the same network, but you can use an existing network if needed. Once you set up everything, hit review and create, and this will start creating your WordPress site. I love how Microsoft implements best practices for Microsoft and Azure. While I'm able to create an app service myself and try deploy WordPress, this setup handles CDN, MySQL, and more. It's easy to configure WordPress with best practices built in with this deployment option. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to provision the site, download WordPress image, and apply customizations. App Service is a fully managed platform. In your resource group, you can select the app that you created and go to your default domain. Once you click the link, you can start browsing your WordPress website. In order to log into your admin portal, simply type in WordPress admin and hit enter. Then enter your login details. Microsoft handles the updates for PHP, MySQL, and Linux. Right now, my site is running WordPress 6.5.5, but you can upgrade to the latest version if needed. Microsoft also installed performance-related plugins by default. Go to your plugins. For instance, Microsoft already installed W3 Total Cache for CDN integration and Smash to optimize images. If you click Settings, scroll down until you see that your CDN is automatically enabled within Total Cache, ensuring fast performance by caching content for seven days. Once your site is set up and running, you can manage it easily via the Azure portal. If you start getting heavy traffic, scaling up or out is easy. You can add more instances if you need or move to the higher SKU based on traffic demands. All configurations like your blob storage and CDN settings can be changed later under the configuration tab. As a business that relies on Azure database for MySQL, there is nothing more frustrating than experiencing slow performance. Not only does it impact productivity, but it can also lead to your lost revenue and dissatisfied customers. Fortunately, there are several things you can investigate to identify the root cause or the issue that takes steps to improve performance. Go to your resource group and click the Azure MySQL database. Metrics are numerical values that describe some aspects of your service resources at any particular time. Monitoring your service resources help you troubleshoot and optimize your workload by allowing you to monitor what matters most to you. Monitoring the right metrics helps you maintain the performance, reliability, and availability of your server and applications. The first thing you should investigate is the server utilization. High CPU, memory, or storage I.O. usage can all impact performance. You can use Azure Monitor to track resource utilization and identify any spikes or trends that could be causing performance issues. Once you configure diagnostic settings, workbooks can be used for monitoring purposes. For instance, poorly written queries can significantly impact database performance. Check query performance insights for the query execution time and identify any slow queries. You can use the Azure database for MySQL query performance insight feature to analyze query performance and identify opportunities for optimization. Server configuration can also impact performance. Review your server parameters to ensure that it is optimized for your workloads. Consider adjusting settings like InnoDB, buffer pool size, and max connections to improve performance. The most difficult area to troubleshoot is being able to identify and address MySQL database performance issues. To help DBAs and developers to identify performance bottlenecks, in the Azure portal, there's a new performance diagnostics feature designed to help you manage Azure Database for MySQL Server. The Performance Diagnostics feature includes three tabs, processes and transactions, expansive queries, and indexes. Using these queries, MySQL developers and DBAs can gather information to help pinpoint performance bottlenecks, optimize queries, and enhance the overall efficiency of their database applications. 
This video series provides troubleshooting tips and tricks for potential problem areas such as low performance connectivity issues, replication latency, and database corruption. Especially in the world of e-commerce, today's business know that staying step ahead of the competition means using data to drive every decision. By nature, Magento holds a wealth of information about your customers, their orders, and consumer preferences. As more customers using Magento move from an on-prem implementation or other cloud platforms to the Azure, Microsoft wants it to provide out-of-the-box configuration recommendations to ensure easy deployment and stable, solid performance. This detail is designed for developers and architects who are planning to deploy Magento on Azure. This repo contains an Azure Resource Manager template designed for developers and architects who are planning to deploy required Azure resources for Magento e-commerce applications. In this video, we have covered everything from deploying WordPress on Azure using MySQL to optimize performance for your website and database. Whether you are setting up a new WordPress site or running applications like Magento, Azure provides scalable and efficient platform to meet your needs. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you are now ready to implement best practices in your Azure deployments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to explore the additional resources linked below to continue learning. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.